Hi, my name is Monterey and it's February, which means you're probably seeing a lot of things about love, a lot of hearts, a lot of chocolate, and a lot of giant teddy bears, right? Well, since this month is all about love, the best thing to talk about is the love of Jesus for all of us. Jesus' love doesn't just last for one month. It lasts forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, you get it. Our February month verse is Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Now, let's do our memory verse motions and I'll show you first, then you can do them with me the second time, okay? How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Well, friends, now I have my friend with me to tell us about today's Bible story. See you in a little while. Hey friends, let's praise and worship God together. Then hear a true story from the Bible that shows us Jesus loves us and wants to spend time with us. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> oh, 
Hola, friends. It's good to see you. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm finishing painting these hearts for my niece. She loves to create patterns, so I am making her this set of purple and red hearts. Let's see. Red, purple, red. Now what comes next? Yes, purple! <laughs> You're good at patterns too. You know, these hearts remind me of our Bible story. It's about someone who loves us very much. Woo! <laughs> Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, walked to different towns because Jesus loved people and wanted to teach them about God and how to love one another. One day, Jesus visited a town where two sisters lived. Their names were Mary and Martha. Martha was so excited to see Jesus that she invited him to come to her house. Mary and Martha both loved Jesus and Jesus loved them. As soon as Jesus got to Mary and Martha's house, Mary sat right down at his feet. Mary knew that Jesus would say important things, so she wanted to hear everything Jesus had to say. Mary wanted to spend as much time as she could with Jesus. But Martha didn't sit down with Jesus. Martha got very, very busy. She was here and she was there. She was cooking and cleaning. You see, Martha was trying to make everything perfect for Jesus' visit. So while Mary sat at Jesus' feet and spent time with him, Martha was busy, busy, busy doing things around the house. Finally, Martha went to Jesus and said, oh, Make my sister help me. I'm doing all the work. But Jesus told Martha that spending time with him is the best thing to do. She didn't need to be worried about the cooking and cleaning. Jesus wanted to spend time with her. <laughs> wow! Jesus didn't need everything to be perfect in Mary and Martha's house. Jesus wanted to spend time with them. <laughs> Jesus loves you and wants to spend time with you and you and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. Who loves you? Jesus loves you. Let's make that personal and say, Jesus loves me. Before we go, let's pray or simply put it, let's talk to God and He will always listen. When we pray, I want you to remember three things, how to pray, to keep it simple, keep it real, and keep it up. Now let's pray, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for have, giving us Jesus to be our friend forever, amen. I really loved hanging out with you today and I look forward to seeing you next week right here, same place. Love you. Happy February. February is a celebration of Black History Month and a month about love, especially about Jesus' love. We invite you to check out this week's Family Activity Guide. You can download it from our Facebook parent group, our website, or follow it from your phone. Inside the guide, you will find amazing activities that will make it easy to keep growing in God's Word with your preschooler. It tells you what to say, guides you through a simple and fun activity, guides you through prayer, and so much more. 
Decide when and how you want to use these great tools at your fingertips, and you will be amazed at how much your preschooler is learning right at home with you. We have one amazing in-person Sunday service for kids. If your family is interested in attending in-person service, please join us on either our Birmingham, Alabama or Columbus, Georgia campus. For more details about the in-person service on the campus you attend, special days when we worship together in the main sanctuary as a family, and much more, please visit faithchapel.net forward slash family for more details on what's going on at our church. Enjoy your day.